folks, welcome back to Drone Bee Farm and Homestead. It is March 24th, 2022. It's about 59 degrees. We got some uh, wind out of the north, so we just came through a probably five or six day really cold spell. It got down uh, very close to freezing, but I don't think we actually got a, a freeze uh, on a couple occasions. Uh, things are starting to bloom and we're way behind. We should have had our brood chamber rotations done by now and I haven't got it done because of this cold weather. We also got uh, two and a half inches of rain on one day and a quarter inch a couple days before that. So uh, we're doing good on rain. The soil's good, uh, nice and moist for all these spring flowers coming up. So as you probably saw, we've got wild plum blooming, got a peach tree blooming, and the red buds are just on the cusp of all blooming out. And my place here is just covered with red buds and the bees get a lot off of those so they really forage on those heavy so today what i'm going to get done is i got to go through every hive uh, that's a double deep evaluate it and if the brood is all up in the top and there's not many bees in the bottom we're going to rotate those boxes and get the empty frames up top so the reason you do that with a double uh, brood chamber system a two box system is in the springtime after you rotate them they will fill that first deep box up and that'll be full of honey before they start working on the honey super that you put on. And that deep box in the top that's full of honey will be the bees winter stores to get them through winter. So you wanna be sure you have plenty of honey on there going into the fall so your bees can survive winter. If you don't do that, you're gonna spend a lot of money putting sugar on your hives to get them through because they don't have enough weight and honey in there to survive on. So I did have a couple three that I did put some sugar on that were weaker hives to get them through but for the most part my hives were fine and that's why we do this double brood box rotation so let's get in here I got my little notepad I got them all written down what I'm going to do so this is just for field notes when I get done with this I'll go back into my three ring binder and I'll, I'll notate on each hive and start a, a sequential history of 2022 for all the hives that we go through I'll also be paying attention for queens and see if they're queen right, if there's a uh, brood in there. I'm not going to just look for a queen in every box. I'm just going to look for evidence of the queen. Once I see that, I'll note that and, uh, and we'll move on. So we need to get going and, and do this fast. Like I said, the, uh, the, the spring flow is starting to begin right now. So we're behind the curve. We should have had this done before, but the weather didn't allow it. So let's get in there and let's get going. Okay, we're gonna start on hive two here, but if you remember hive one right here from the last video, that hive is very weak. Uh, they've got like one frame of bees in there. So this was a double screen combined and I, I took them apart uh, before the cold snap hit and moved it over to the top part over there to number five. And that hive is pretty strong. But this hive here was on bottom, so it didn't get all the warmth. And uh, so what we're going to be doing while we're going through these, we're also going to look for strong hives with uh, lots of brood. And we will take a brood frame and put them over here in number one and get them boosted up where they need to be. So let's get started here on number two and see what we've got. So it's a little bit on the chilly side to be doing this. Uh, 59 degrees it's probably about 60 the there's not a lot of breeze down in here so i'm going to use a fair amount of smoke on these doing this because this is a fairly invasive procedure and the bees might be a little grumpy this time of year We've got just a little bitty piece of pollen patty left right there. So I'm going to go ahead and move this out of the way. <laughs> and we're going to check in here and see what, we look, what we've got. So here's a little bit of honey. So we aren't starving out. And they should be bringing in natural nectar now. Not a lot, but some. This doesn't weigh anything, nothing in it. Same thing here. 
This has a little bit of weight, so there's honey and pollen, so we probably got brood here on the next frame. Yeah. So we got brood up top, capped and uncapped, got white larva in there. Same thing on this side, and that's a piece of natural comb there, meaning it's not a wax foundation. So I'm going to stop there. I've seen all I need to see. It's queen right doing well not a whole lot of bees up here now we're going to check the bottom and see what it looks like okay all the bees are right over in here kind of empty right here so we might center this up some so what we're looking for is brood down here what you don't want to do is split this brood up if it's in the top and bottom and, and move it around you don't split the brood chamber. So there may be frames here that have brood on only the top part and not down low. So we don't want to mess with that if that's the case. If there's nothing down here and this is, these are food frames, uh, we want to just, we want to do the rotation, get the brood from this top box to the bottom. And the first inspection of the year is always fun because you got tons of propolis in here and it's cold. And this frame here is trying to come apart on me. This box is very light. You can see it wiggling around. Get that knocked back together. So here's an empty frame. You can see it's still got some pretty good wax on it. So that's a good thing. It's good to go. We don't need to swap it out. Empty drawn. It's got a little bit of weight, so there's some honey there. Empty drawn. So we're getting over into the bees now. A little bit of honey on top. A little bit of pollen. A little bit of honey. So this is looking like uh, there's no brood down here. And this is uh, mainly pollen, a little bit of nectar. Yeah. No brood down here. So we're going to switch them around. And I'm going to scoot them over one frame. Get the bees one more frame over and I'll do that in the top as well when we move it over. Clean up this burr comb. All right. So this box is going to become our top. So while we're doing this, we're going to take out the entrance reducer and it's a good opportunity to clean all the muckety muck off of your bottom board. Okay, here's our top box going on the bottom and we're going to scoot them over. Got to break this propolis free. Just cleaning up some of this propolis. So I flip this around, put the side with the most comb towards the inside. Those outside frames, they tend to not use a whole lot, at least in my area, because I don't have that strong of nectar flows. And on a 10 frame hive, They usually use eight. <laughs> I'll put this little piece of pollen patty back right there. Also pay attention to your box orientation. If this was the front and you took it off, the, be sure you put it back to the front. Boy, something ain't right here. Oh. <laughs> Look at this big ridge of propolis here. There we go. Yeah, so that's sticking up, wouldn't let it go down. So they had that down over the entrance, reducing it down. 
So they built that up before I put the entrance reducer on it in the fall because they were reducing it down on their own. So we got to get that cleaned off of there. Now that's good clean propolis that uh, you could uh, use for whatever, sell it. I'll lay it here. It's supposed to be good for like uh, toothache. Mix it with alcohol and make a tincture out of it. That's what I've heard. I don't know that I'd want that in my mouth, to tell you the truth. It's kind of gross. Clean these off. Okay, let's try that again. Yeah, this box here is pretty light compared to that other. So the next round, we come back through here, we'll be putting on queen excluders and the honey super once the flow gets going good and they'll just move right on up and fill them full of honey if we have a good nectar flow so i'm going to write in my notes here number one i'm going to put an r for rotate and i'm going to put medium for what i assess the strength of the hive so you can see there that's how i'm taking my notes so i'll note if it's rotated the strength of the hive and then i'm also going to put QR for Queen Right. This hive is really heavy, so they got a lot of honey. I can see honey on these outside two frames. So they're doing pretty good. These make it a lot easier to get that first frame out of there. Yeah, it's a full honey frame. Same here, completely full honey frame. This hive was loaded. Same thing on the third one. And this one's same thing, full honey frame. Man, I'm gonna take one of these, give it to hive number one. I'll get one of these that don't have a bunch of bees on it. So Queen's laying on this frame. Got eggs. Very young larva. So she's come up in the top. Some. So far. And this is a brood frame. Cap brood. Cat brooding a lot of larva on here too. I don't see our queen. That smoke may uh, run her down. This frame looks just like the other. A few less cap though. So we got what two, two good solid brood frames and one just started with eggs. And here's another brood frame. If I find that queen, I will take one of these and give it to number one. So these last two frames have been brood frames. So that's four and one with eggs. The next one is just honey. Man, there's a lot of bees on there. I think what I'm gonna do is grab this first one that had a lot of capped. I'm gonna open up hive one first, get it ready. All the bees clustered right there. They're still chilly in here. So right now I'm just making space. We'll put that brood frame right here. I haven't found the queen, so I gotta look at this real close and take my time. Okay, pretty certain there's no queen here. 
So I'll drop that frame right here. Make me a little bit more space. And I'm gonna bring another one of those brood frames over. I'm gonna shake those bees in here. So all these bees are nurse bees and they will not return to the parent hive. They'll stay and they'll get up on that brood frame and help keep it warm. So we're making sure we don't have a queen on here. Now we're good. So now we're taking two frames back over here. So I'll put this blank empty drawn frame right between those others. Well, they're mad. I'm gonna put that honey frame back in here. And this one has a little honey right there. And this goes over to the other hive. Now we'll get hive one closed up. Empty. A little bit of honey. A little bit of honey. A little bit of honey on the opposite side. Empty. So it's looking like this is going to be all empty. We got brood right there. See how that's all larva? So we don't want to split this up because the brood chamber is coming down into here and the queen's laying down there. Same here. I'll tell you what I might do though. I'm gonna pull those up. Because we removed that one frame, this is all nectar. Okay, so I took those two brood frames and put them right here between those other brood frames. So there's no, there's no larva down here at all. It's all up there. And that's gonna to go to the bottom and this one's gonna to go to the top. And I'll put these honey frames to the outside. Get rid of that old drone comb. This is a solid honey frame, so I'm going to put it to the outside. I'll put these empty ones towards the middle. Because this is going to be our new top. These, these all have honey in them here. Gotta love this propolis in the spring. Okay, let's clean off the bottom. Get rid of our entrance reducer. Get all that propolis. Good grief. There's a big old bridge down here on the bottom. Okay, so this hive here, uh, it did have some brood in the bottom, and normally I wouldn't rotate that. But it was two frames that had it just in the top, and that's what I was telling you about. You don't want to separate those and, and break them apart. So what I did, so you saw me take 
a, a brood frame, put it in number one to boost them up. And I also took a brood frame of, of the nurse bees and shook them in over there. So number one's got a little bit of a boost now, but they could still use some more. But since I took that one brood frame out of here and uh, a frame of honey, I went ahead and pulled those two frames from the bottom that had the uncapped larva and put it right in the middle where that other brood was. So it's all still together and it's all been rotated and moved to it's all on the bottom now and the empty box is on top and i moved the honey frames to the outside so that's kind of another variation on this rotation so this this hive here is really strong and it's set and uh, it's going to do well this year didn't see the queen uh so uh I, I normally like to see the queen when i start moving bees off to other boxes so you run the risk of, of missing her but i did look real close so i think we're good so uh, I'm going to end the video here. You can see this is a long process. It takes a long time. And uh, I got like 25 more to do. So I'm not going to video all that. You get the gist of it. So that's the end. Uh, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe on your way out. Uh, hopefully we'll hit 10,000 subscribers this year. That's pretty awesome. So we'll catch you on the next beekeeping video. Y'all take care.